Hello, it's so good to see you. Now, I'm so glad you came in today for a professional suit fitting. We are going to take great care of you here. My name is Michael, and I'm so excited to help you today. Now, just a few things. Uh, first of all, what kind of suit are we looking for? Well, I agree. Um, what I recommend to most men is that if this is your first suit, I recommend you go blue. There are two options when you start out. You go black or you go blue. Those are the two staple suits for you to look for. Some people, when they wear a black suit, they look like their funeral directors. Now, I'm not dissing black suits. I'm wearing one right now. But some people, it's just too dramatic a look, especially for a fellow like you, because you're, you're a little bit thinner. <laughs> you're certainly thinner than me, unfortunately. Um, and sometimes that can have an effect with a black suit. I'll show you some black suits later that will really give you a better look, a nice cut, a nice feel without being too austere and giving you the wrong look. So uh, are you okay with a blue suit? All right. Well, we're going to get you taken care of this. First of all, you have to forgive me. I um, just got my new measure. Uh, I'm a little hard on these guys. You can imagine using them all day. Eventually, they just sort of snap in half when you're constantly using it. So what I'm going to do... So we're going to take a few measurements here. First of all, tell me what size suit you think you are. A 42? Okay. Well, uh, I think you're right. I think you're right. But let's go ahead and check a few things first, okay? Will you uh, just face right here for me? Perfect. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take a few measurements. Perfect, perfect. Okay, what I'm seeing is that you have a... 40 chest, very nice. And I'm going to loop this around here. Hold still. <clears throat> Let's get this. Very good. And you've got a 32 waist, something that I would absolutely kill for. <laughs> okay, we're going to get your inseam. Okay, fine. And I'm just going to, I know it feels like I'm strangling you. I'm going to go around your neck. Okay. Now, all right, it looks like you are a 15 and a half. I'm just going to take a few notes here. I know I should remember this off the top of my head, but I never quite do. Now, this is where the real suit footing comes in. Now, first of all, we want to try to save you money. Okay, I know it may sound weird for that because I'm paid on commission, but I really do want to save you money. I want you to be so happy with this suit that you're going to keep coming back to me for more. Okay, uh, the best way to save you money is to find a suit that's as close as we can find. If we can get a suit that's as close as we can find, that'll have the least amount of alterations. All right. Now, I think this suit here would suit you perfectly. What do you think about this? See, it's blue, but it's got just a little bit of a pattern, just a little bit of that kind of uh, texture to it that'll give a, make it pop a little bit more, plus a, a little bit of a more of a vintage kind of 1960s retro. It's kind of in right now, so I recommend that, but it's also a very classic look, so you won't be outdated if, you know, a year from now. And that's definitely a big deal with a suit. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and get this on you. Very good, very good. Um, uh, let's go ahead, and it's it's okay. We're in the <laughs> private area. If you could put the pants on, I will turn aside as you put those on. Um, let me know how that fits at the waist, because, of course, we can take that out or tuck that in as need be. All right, perfect. And uh, how's that feel? Pretty good. 
I think in your case, we're actually going to have to bring that in a little bit. Uh, that's not something that normally happens with me, unfortunately, but we're going to have to bring that in just a little bit. Let me get that measurement again, just to make sure I've got that right. Okay. Uh, yeah, your waist is actually a little closer to 31 now that I'm looking at it more closely. So we're going to take that in just a little bit. And what I want you to do, this is the most important thing. Okay, I'm going to give you a trade secret here. You promise not to share it. You're going to keep this just between you and me. When you are doing a suit fitting, you need to put everything in your pockets that you would normally wear. So for instance, if you have a card holder, okay, I need you to put that in your pocket where it would normally go. We go like up here. Okay, I want you to put it up there wherever your wallet would normally go. Where do you keep your wallet? Do you keep it in your back pocket? Do you keep it in your front pocket? It's very important that we do this this way. Okay. Put it in your front pocket. Excellent. And uh, do you keep a pen? Uh, I know this seems insignificant, but I promise you it's not. Especially your phone. Where do you normally keep your phone? Okay, in your breast pocket. Okay, I want you to put that there. I want you to put the pin there. Put everything where it normally goes. And while I'm uh, making a few measurements, I'll tell you why. Uh, I, I heard this story from a famous uh, gentleman who was an expert in men's fashion. And he was having his suit fitted. And he wore his, he had a, a large wallet, one of those long ones. And he kept it in his side pocket. And when he put on his suit, it made it go like that. It kind of tucked it to the side. And he said to the gentleman, well, this, this isn't right. And the gentleman walked up behind him and just popped it like that. But of course, as soon as he moved, it moved again. And uh, the guy kept moving. And of course, it kept getting off. And of course, the guy kept um, setting it right behind him. And finally... He said, look, are you volunteering to walk behind me for the rest of my life, adjusting my suit? And of course, the tailor had to admit, no, the suit wasn't right. He'd make it right. So if you have something large in your breast pocket that's pulling it down, we need to take care of that. If we don't take care of that, that's going to be a problem. Okay, so we've got everything in. Uh, what I'm seeing is just a very slight drag where your breast pocket is. I'm just going to make a little measurement here. Okay, that's only about half an inch difference. Let me try something. I'm just going to pop this over to the side. Very good. Very good. Good. That looks really, really nice. That looks excellent. Um... Now, I uh, also want to check your sleeve length. Can you hold out your arm for me? Very good. I want to check your sleeve length. Um, now, in a good men's suit, the cuff of your shirt should come out anywhere from a half inch to an inch, depending on your preference, but not any more than that. If it comes out too far, it looks like you're uh, like a 16-year-old uh, kid wearing a suit that was made for him when he was 12. But if it pops out just a little bit, it looks really nice. Plus, if you decide to wear cufflinks, which are coming back a little bit, uh, you can wear those and really show them off to the best effect. So you're looking a little good here. I think we're going to need to bring these in just a little bit. Yeah, that's a little long. Your, your arms are... Um, long. You have long arms. So I think what you're going to end up basically being, if, if you were buying this off the rack, would be a 42 long. I think when if we get it like that, it's going to look a lot better. Okay. Um, now, uh, don't move. I'm going down to your inseam and I'm just going to make a quick measurement. Okay. So the question is, do you know how when you get your hair cut, what they always ask you is, do you want the back curved or do you want it straight across? And you never know which one, right? The, the version of that for getting your suit fitted is, do you want the bottoms cuffed or uncuffed? And here's my recommendation to you. I personally think cuffed always looks a little bit nicer. 
especially like you're doing today, if you're getting a custom fitting, it really just lays against the shoe perfectly. Now, obviously, just like you're doing right now, you're wearing your dress shoes that you would be wearing with this suit. That is correct, right? These black shoes you're wearing? Good, good, good. Because that is absolutely essential. Because otherwise, if we break that cuff at the wrong place, it's not going to work out well. Okay. So I'm going to go down. I'm just going to make a few measurements down here. So we are going to go cuff, right? Okay, good. Good. Just hold still. You're doing a great job. Okay. So I think this is going to look great. Uh, what I want you to do is go ahead and take off the jacket. Um, I just want to look for a second at your waist. Um, yeah, we're definitely going to need to take that in a little bit. And uh, just a question, because again, some of these things are coming back in style. Do you wear suspenders? I don't judge. I wear bow ties, <laughs> but you don't wear suspenders. Okay. Because if you wear suspenders, I would just cut it a little differently to kind of uh, make room for that. But for a belt, uh, you really, this is about where you would wear it. This is where your belt would go. Okay, good, good. Uh, let me just make one more measurement around your waist. Okay. Belt still. Just want to make absolutely sure. Good, good. Now, the final thing, do you want any pleat in the front of your pants? I, I personally recommend just a straight down the middle, uh, nothing too fancy, but we can also add a traveler's cut. One of the things you told me when we were talking earlier is that you travel a lot. Is that correct? So those plane flights, those long drives, uh, they're pretty hard on suit pants and I really recommend that you get this and we'll get a special treatment for it. And it just really helps it to not wrinkle on the brakes as much. It'll really look better after that long trip. Now, obviously you're still going to need to get it dry cleaned. And I definitely want, I have a few different dry cleaners in town I can recommend to you because not all dry cleaners are equal. Some of them are terrible. Uh, and you really want to take it to a place that's going to take care of your suit because it, I know this is going to be, <coughs> excuse me, it's going to be a few hundred dollars, okay? And it's going to be a few dozen dollars more for the alterations that we're going to make. But if we get this right, you are going to have the suit for the next 10 years. You're going to be able to wear this. You're going to look great. And uh, I have customers who have been coming to me since I started, which was almost 20 years ago. And some of them still have had suits for over 10 years because they take good care of them. And that's one of the things I want to talk to you about. Uh, this is my recommendation for you. First, I want you to get this blue suit. The next time you come in, what I do, I will let you know when we have a two-for-one sale. Okay? I'll let you know when that happens. Give me your email, all that kind of stuff. I want you to come in here, and you're going to get a black suit. And you're going to get another blue suit. I know that sounds weird, but stay with me. The blue suit, the other blue suit you get will be a very different looking. It'll have a different tone. It'll be much darker or much lighter, depending on if we decide on this color. But what that's going to do with those three, you could go your entire professional career with those three suits. Now, I don't recommend that, <laughs> but you could. You never need another color other than that. However, what I recommend is that in, say, a year after that, when you've gotten those a little bit and you've got a little settled in your career, you come back to me and we'll do another two for one and we're going to get another two suits. Now, this is where we'll have a little fun. We're going to find a nice gray suit. Gray is a fantastic professional color. Now, we're going to get it. It's going to look nice. It's going to look very professional. But if you look at some old James Bonds and some, some really classic movies like North by Northwest, those gray suits are amazing. We're going to find a nice gray suit for you. And then we're going to find one more, and it's going to be some version of brown. Okay? Now, that's the one that's the trickiest. It's got to match your skin tone. It's got to match the way you look. We're also going to need to make sure you've got a good pair of brown shoes to wear with them because black shoes and brown suits. No, don't do that. If all of that, if you're happy with all of that, what we will do for the last one 
That's the one where you can have a little fun. We'll maybe find like a horn tooth, something with a little bit of color to it, but nothing too crazy, but just with a, with a little bit of flair. And what I recommend is that you don't wear the flare suit all the time, but you throw it in like every three weeks. If you're in an office where people see you all the time, about every three weeks is fine. If you were like, say, an outside sales, that sort of thing, you can get away with fewer suits longer. But what this will do, I want you to at least, at least build up a repertoire of five really nice suits. And I want you to take care of them. What you can do over time is you can add about two suits a year. Okay? You add about two suits a year. Don't make a big deal out of it. You get a little bonus. You get a Christmas bonus. Someone wants to buy you something. Your wife wants to get you something. You get another suit. Okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to build up to about a dozen. And I actually, I'm selling suits. I don't recommend any more than that. Okay? Because what that's going to do is going to give you a really nice variety. And if and when one of the suits begins to wear out, you donate that to Goodwill. You get the complete tax write-off. And you come to me and I'll get you some more. So are you happy with this blue suit? Great. Let's get you fitted out for that. We are going to get you looking good. And maybe I can convince you to look at our bow ties. All right? You have a good day.